When he, when he talks to somebody about David, it's, you know, he's a, a great person, he does things right. And that it almost overshadows how great of a football player he was, but it doesn't because he was. He was no drop off between the man of character and the man on the football field. Tonight at I'm excited because I'm here with you guys, the seniors. Your senior year is different than, than any other season um, at Texas uh, because it's one you'll remember more than any other, and it's what you're remembered by. It was exciting to come visit the seniors at Coach Brown's house um, just because they're all looking to do what we did when, when we were seniors, uh, to finish with a national championship. And so um, I was just excited to get to know some of these guys and visit with them and, and hopefully share a little bit of the insights I had from my time at Texas. I've always kind of felt that if you take care of the little things, the big things take care of themselves. When you do all the little things right, they add up to something great in the end. It's time for the senior class to step up and get us back in the upper echelon of college football. And when you have a guy that came in from Friendship, Texas at uh, 211 pounds, ended up being an All-American tight end, catching 10 balls in the national championship, he wins a national championship. He gets drafted and goes to New England where they play and lose for a Super Bowl. But then he comes back and wins a Super Bowl with, uh, with New Orleans. So he's got wonderful experiences. Uh, he's done everything right in his life. He has a tremendous family. He's got a degree from Texas. He's ready to move forward after football. But I thought he would be a perfect message for our guys because he's got what they want. You can't hold others accountable unless you're willing to hold yourself accountable. You know, as a leader, you can't ask others to do something that you're not already doing yourself. You know, I've, I've been on three teams that played for championships. We won a national championship at Texas, we lost the Super Bowl in New England, and we won a Super Bowl in New Orleans. And the, the thing that, that those three teams had in common more than anything that I could think of was that the players were in charge of the discipline and accountability. When I was with New England, um, something I heard seemed like every single day from, from Bill Belichick and he said, every time he'd say it, he'd say it just like this, practice, repetition, becomes game, reality. And what he wanted out of us was, he, didn't, he, wouldn't, let, he wouldn't let you just go do something for the first time on the, on the game field. He wanted to see you prove it in practice. He wanted to see you perform that play perfectly in practice before he'd let you do it in the game. You know, championship hardware, that's not something you, 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 you get it handed to you in the stadium, but it's not forged in the stadium. It's earned out there on the practice field before you step foot on the real field. So I want you guys to think about every time you step on the practice field, doing every little thing you can to get better. Taking every single practice seriously and the fact that you're either taking a step towards something great or just staying the same or maybe getting worse. As seniors, it's up to you guys to set the tempo and understand your role in setting the pace of practice. Coach Brown always has good insight um, for, for what we need to hear for as players. And, and, and who better to, to tell us um, what it's like to, to play in the NFL, to play for Texas, to play for a national championship, whatever it may be, than, than a guy who's actually done it. And so, um, you know, I, I was honored to come back here and, and speak to these seniors, and it's an exciting time for these guys as they start their last year. When you're singing the eyes of Texas for the last time, and it's gonna be here before you know it, the season's gonna go by fast. Um, I, want I want you guys to think about everything you've done up to that point and, and make sure that when you're doing that, that it's something you're proud of and something that you want to put your name on.